Schools will provide transportation to early voting for 18-year-old students who are registered to vote. Now, some Republican school board members are opposed to this. They say teachers might influence the students' voting decisions. Audrey Shirley has this story. David, Cindy, that's right. Jody Schaefer is a first-term Republican representing District 7. She questions the use of taxpayer funds and is concerned why teachers may try to influence the young voters. Hamilton County school board members were debating the topic of providing students transportation to vote at Thursday night's meeting. Republicans and Democrats are disagreeing. Hamilton County school board member Jody Schaefer, a Republican, says in today's partisan atmosphere, teachers might try to sway young voters to their way of thinking. But District 6, Representative Ben Connor, a Democrat, said he couldn't believe any school board member would be critical of helping introduce students to voting, which is a cherished civic duty. I'm just absolutely flabbergasted that we're having a conversation of ways to deny assisting our students to vote, to do their civic duty, to do this, one of the most patriotic things that you can do in your country, to vote for the leadership that leads you. And we're talking about ways to stop that? No one's trying to take the right of a child or an adult away to vote. It's merely whether or not this is within the purview of the schools to provide transportation. And like it or not, there is undue influence by our professionals, especially in this type of partisan atmosphere. District 11 Representative Jill Black, a Democrat, does not see how taking public transportation to vote is an issue, especially since some people rely on it. However, District 1 Representative Steve Slater, a Republican, says students need to be taught how to be responsible rather than providing transportation. I think we should teach our kids responsibility. And another thing, you can call the Democratic office in Hamilton County or the Republican office in Hamilton County, they'll come get you and take you to vote. Superintendent Justin Robertson says the bus trips would cost the district about $8,000 but the cost may come down between $4,000 and $6,000 with less schools participating. Students who are registered to vote will be able to participate in a field trip to an early voting site. Early voting starts October 16th and runs through October 31st. Robertson says the student early voting transportation is optional for both students and schools. Reporting in studio for Local 3 News, I'm Audrey Shirley.